Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some bombastic Star League. This is the fourth match in the round of eight. It's a best of five between Gypsy and Oya. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is actually the match that I was the most excited over. Uh, well, I guess this and the Chinese players playing, because I never really get to see the Chinese players. But this is going to be fantastic. A good friend Gypsy going up against one of Europe's finest in Oya. Oya, of course, has been very strong in the last several uh, BSL seasons. So you might consider him in the favorite here, but we'll see how it goes. The first map going to be Ascension. This is going to be a little bit difficult, I think, for Gypsy. This is a It's a tough map uh, for playing in Terran versus Protoss. There's a lot of options for how Ilya wants to play it. Uh, for Gypsy, I think not quite as many. Timing attacks, not very strong here. You kind of have to go towards max two on pushes, which makes you a little bit predictable. But we'll see. You never know. It's it's a single game on Ascension. That's kind of the overarching idea, but anything can happen here. Before we really get into it, big thank you once again to Zero and everyone involved in the BSL. You can check it out at bombasticstarleague.com. Uh, but yeah, here we go in this game number one. So in the top middle, we just saw Gypsy, and here is Oya. And this is going to be, it's going to be cool, man. I'm very excited about it. You know, I've been saying for quite some time now, I consider Gypsy to be top two foreigner Terran, uh, along with Terror. And really stylistically, I think Gypsy, you know, he's very Korean-esque in the way that he plays, right? So his Terran has a lot of room to grow still. Uh, I think he's, he's really strong, quite a talented player. And it'll be interesting to see if he can actually take down Oya in a best of five, right? Because Oya has done so well in BSL. Let's see. <laughs> Some first player cams here. Missed that in the last game. But yeah. Um, just taking a look at Gypsy's play here. Even has his webcam on for us there. This guy streams a lot as well. You can check him out there. And taking a quick look at Oya. Oh yeah. Does look like it's going to be Nexus first. It's something I've, you know, I cast Ascension all the time, so I don't want to always say the same things, but Nexus first is very, very strong on the map. You probably don't want to do it every single game, because again, you never want to be too predictable. But uh, yeah, it's it, like you can't really SCV Marine, uh, you know, Vulture rush it. Uh, with the factory expansion opening, right? So that's that makes it very rough. Like now, to say that you can't do it doesn't mean that it cannot work, that it cannot win. Like there, there's always possibilities, right? Anything can work. It's just your rate of success with it here is much lower because it's a long rush distance, and you're going through a tiny little choke. So if Protoss takes the engagement right, it's very difficult to get your units all to fire. Uh, so I don't think we'll see Gypsy do that. I would actually be pretty darn surprised if he were uh, to attempt to bust. Now, he gets the very quick scout. And it's it's a possibility when you get in there that you're like, you know what, screw it, let's go. Um, and especially if you look at the build that Oya is doing, it's one gate. So this is this is pretty greedy. Okay, he's going to throw a second gate down. Now, I mean, the second gate, it's, it's not a super fast second gate. It's after Cybernetic Score. So it's it's not as sturdy as like two gates right away, then the core. But oh yeah, you know, being scouted this quickly, I think it's a smart move for him to do. And okay, so there's a fourth marine being made, there's a third depot. He is gonna go for the bust. And we'll see if he can if he can actually pull this off. Um and we'll see exactly how Oya wants to try to play against this as well. Now the probe is coming for the scout. Azel is actually being sent across the map kind of interesting there all right the probe gets pushed back and the probe i'm like watching the mini map guys the probe saw three marines so i think he has a good idea now here comes the zealot oh the four marines oh no oh no gets a hit on there uh, okay so gypsy comes back with his marines pushes it back here comes okay it looks like that's actually just seven scvs uh, i not entirely sure because it was just a drag select he might have missed one there but that's actually slightly low, but it's like you could do that normally against this this uh, build if it was on a different map. We'll see if it works here. Again, it might. It's possible. 
So he already killed a Zealot basically for free. He took one hit on a Marine, so that's a very good trade. Oh, God, his Vulture is going to get stuck. So the Vulture is one of the main units to fight uh, <laughs> in this type of push. Comes out, and this is a fantastic surround on that Dragoon. Oh, my God. Amazingly done by Gypsy. Crushes that Dragoon. So, like, he lost his Vulture, but he got basically a Dragoon and a Zealot for free, and it was a late second gate from Oya. So, Oya was being a little bit greedy here and pushing a little bit too hard with his early units. And so, it looks like this is just completely going to work for Gypsy. Uh, there's some very good micro going on from Oya, picking off some SCVs, but he has two very hurt goons, and the bunker gets up. Three SCVs left over, which is plenty to keep this up until... Uh, the Nexus is busted. We saw already the machine shop spinning, so that should be mines for the vultures. And he might even have a tank on the way. Uh, some people like to add additional vultures, and some people like to go into a siege tank to help push everything back. But he has four goons. Now, that's kind of nice. That's a oh, pro move right there. Now, hold on. With the four goons, you actually need an additional scv you need one scv per goon but he actually targets one of the hurt goons it's super low it's not a bad move if he could reduce one goon okay so he sacks a vulture and like a marine earlier there to kill a goon which means he has enough to repair he actually sent an additional uh scv as well oh my god he drags it to get rid of this can oh yeah actually hold on the targeting is real it looks like the nexus will end up falling but i gotta say like that was like, oh yeah, you can see a lot of quality in his play. The way that during the rush, even when he kind of screwed things up, he was greedy, he, he overextended a little bit. He made up a lot, of, uh, a, a lot for that by targeting SCVs with his goons towards the end. When he had already not held the rush, he still picked off SCVs. He got it down to just three. Normally, you leave four there to make sure... That you can repair the bunker through the damage. And so he almost, he, like, he was on the edge of saving that, you know? Very, very, uh, like, well, it didn't work. <laughs> but you got to look at a move like that and be like, okay, uh, Oya does know what he's doing here. All right, some mines being laid, as is the norm. Oya, like, Normally in this type of position, right, like when you've lost that expansion, it's very common to see Protoss just go double Nexus. So I, I do want to see, see he's trying to, he knows there's mines here. <laughs> we'll see if he tries any micro tricks. It's turn rate 20 high. It's doable. <laughs> it's doable. I don't know if you want to try that or not. Make those mines pop up and shoot at him. But yeah, you can see that other uh, vulture waiting for a probe to come up to that third base. He's got the mind to kind of spot that. Turret going up at home. In fact, going for three. It looks like I believe I just saw an armory being made as well. And he'll know here just momentarily. Yeah, there's the armory. He'll know here just momentarily that it is observers as that mine gets cleared. A couple mines do, in fact. And now we get to see from Oya, oh like, I, I really assume he's going to go for that third Nexus. It's just such a common move. It looks like the Dragoons want to move across the map. But Gypsy already has, like, three or four tanks with Siege Mode. So it's hard to imagine these Dragoons actually being able to do anything. Yeah, there's four tanks. He's got some missile turrets. All he has to do is place them reasonably well. Look, he sees them coming, so he can just get into position now. Vulture running back. Keeping tabs. Leaves two tanks unsieged, which is actually a pretty good move. If they do, like, if he went shuttle immediately after the Observer, then he could actually have a shuttle here. And if you have all four tanks sieged, you'll lose the game. So a good, smart hedging move from Gypsy. Throws down a bunker here. That's more of just for blocking, so the Dragoons can't really get in. All right, here come the Dragoons now. He sieges up. All right, nice. Gets a pick there. Oh, yeah, trying to stay on the edge of range. Taking another hit. Does bust the bunker. We have that second factory up for Gypsy. Third Nexus is coming for Oya right now. Third Nexus, not as quick as I was really thinking it would be. It's it's just such a very common move. You're, you're actually very low on units with these... 
with the bus type move that we saw. Wow, that observer just threads the needle there. Gets to see exactly what Gypsy's doing, but actually Gypsy's not doing anything tricky at all. This is actually very standard what you're seeing out of him. Go the armory is like maybe slightly quick, but that's totally okay. I think it's actually specifically it's very good on this map uh, to go for the quick armory follow up because you just kind of know it's going to go into a big macro game no matter what. But yeah, going into the three factories, you just kind of have to do that because you're unit light. You need to you need to produce off that. You see the starport at the natural. Yes, sees that as well. Really good scouting with the observers. Good pickoff there as well. Gets a free siege tank. Gypsy's starting to push out. Looks like he wants to get towards his third. He's not going for an attack or anything like that. Throws down another missile turret. Does have speed for the vultures. Always, always useful to get in these situations. In really any situation. One of the best upgrades in the game. Going to be able to at least keep some tabs on the map. You see Dragoons are actually chasing them on the mini-map right now. So the little mini-game continues here. Vultures will see what they can do. Any harassment damage, keeping him busy, things like that. Maybe get a scout off. We see actually everything's empty. He could run into the main base. Oh my god, there's nothing here? Oh my god, he's just going to get some free probes. Nicely done by Gypsy. Look at that, picks off three probes. Keeps both the vultures alive as well. Fantastically done. Oh yeah, really keeping a lot of units out in front of Gypsy right now. But honestly, look at this. More vultures running into the natural. It's like Gypsy is just killing right now. This is some fantastic play. Lays some mines to slow that down. There is the observer. But like killing this many probes, this is absolutely fantastic. Because right now, Oya is uh, like just kind of making a lot of Dragoons while teching up, right? Like I believe he's going into Arbiter right now. And just piling on goons and trying to slow down the taking of the third. But, like, I don't think Gypsy really cares that much. As long as he does not die here as he tries to move out. You can see a very strong move in there from Oya. But Gypsy pulls the tanks back in time. Arbiter Tribunal finishing up. So, going to continue to tech. Ooh, a dropship is out. Now, I don't know that the dropship will be able to find any damage because there's observers here. So, now, just because there's observers doesn't mean that he sees it. We don't know. Like, we can see Oya right now. His screen was down at, like, 6 o'clock. Okay, he saw it. He saw it now. So, he has a good idea of what's going on. If he can pick that, obviously, it's huge. Oh, the unit's coming up as the dropship goes by. So that dropship still has a lot of potential. There is a cannon on the way. A couple, in fact. And Dragoon's moving over. Okay, so it looks like the drop harassment. Not likely to do anything. I don't think it's the end of the world, though. Maybe you can target a good clump of probes here. Yeah, not bad. Uh, unfortunately, like, he spent the time microing the units a little bit and did not get the dropship out. So does end up losing everything. But he kills a few more probes. And you can see the supply is actually pretty darn close. 101 to 111. That's actually, that's very good for Terran in this situation. All right, a couple more facts coming up. So that is going to bring us to seven for Gypsy. Floating over that third command. Three more gates coming up. Pure Dragoon, man. We have one Zealot <laughs> and like 24 Dragoons, I want to say. It is a very Dragoon heavy army, but of course, like once you have that many, it'll just be Zealots from there on out. Dragoons definitely do pa uh, pack a punch, especially on a map like this where you can have that high ground situation, right? And the, the ranged attack helps out just massively. Gypsy, though, macroing up pretty cleanly. Looks like we're going to hit a little supply block, maybe on both sides. Vultures running in towards that fourth. Doesn't seem like they'll get too much done. Lots of cannons have been placed. And he's already, honestly, he's already done very good economic damage. All right, single vessel is out. I heard that Arbiter as well. Not entirely sure if EMP is on the way yet.
fifth base being taken here for Oya. There is a mine there that sees it. So the Gypsy's actually still got very good vision if you take a look at that mini map. Some good mines laid around at possible other bases. And kind of just knowing the timing of that, that fifth base is pretty important as well. Now, five bases, that's, that's very solid. But he doesn't have another main base yet, which is kind of like an important thing you want to think about in Terran vs. Protoss. If Gypsy is able to get an army advantage, like if Oya does a poor attack, and Gypsy gets an army advantage that allows him to get over onto the high ground above that third base area down at 6 o'clock, that's where Gypsy can pick up a victory uh, pretty quickly in this game. And that's because if the gateways are all in one area, you can kind of choke up the unit movements, the reinforcements of Protoss, right? Uh, whereas if Protoss has another main that has like, you know, a bunch of gates at it, then army can be coming everywhere and, and contains aren't nearly as powerful. Flanks can come in, counterattacks can come in all over the place. Of course, Arbiters can help you get around stuff as well, but you can't just rely on things like recall. All right, Vultures, a couple group of Vultures just running around the map, laying their mines out. Oya being very methodical about removing those mines. I like that type of patience here as well. And of course, you know, this is this is like an important small part of the game that we're seeing here, right? Like Gypsy wants to trade these out. Uh, you know, he's, he's macroing heavily. He has two add-ons right now, and he wants to refill as much of his supply with siege tanks as he possibly can. So... You want these vultures to be out. You want them to be trading to some degree so that you can build your army into a much more powerful version of itself. Now, Gypsy's actually moving out 161 supplies. So they're very similar on supplies right now. There should be a stasis ready or two. Yeah, it looks like probably two. Vessel coming so far forward, I think it probably has EMP. Yeah, that, that type of movement, that looks like a vessel that's looking for an EMP right now. Ooh. <laughs> All right, mine gets shot down. Oh, yeah, getting a much bigger bank right now. Oh, what happened there? I have no idea what happened there. Okay, this Arbiter was trying to go in for a recall, and he just caught it in EMP. Looks like a second one kind of heading up. But he's got enough energy for an EMP there as well. I'm actually, like, I guess I'm not surprised that he's going for a recall in this situation. It's not a bad move. Like, this is a good map for it. You have a very wide open base. Oh my god, he's switching into carriers. Um, But yeah, the, the base is very wide open. It's actually very hard to defend with things like turrets. Uh, You do need to kind of be hunting for those Arbiters and, and utilizing your EMPs. So I think... We've had some great plays here. Look at that. He finds the other Arbiter and EMPs it. Beautiful move here from Gypsy. Both players maxed out. But yeah, we do have that carrier tech switch. So Gypsy pushing now, absolutely a good move. Look at this. Here comes Oya, but he does not have any spells to cast here. Well, yeah, it, another Arbiter comes in, but nothing on that as well. Not enough. Gypsy starts to destroy. Oya falling in supply quite a bit. His transition into carriers, like, this is a very weak moment for him. A lot of his money, a lot of his supply is caught up trying to get into carriers. And it's just, it, Gypsy's attacking right now, which this is going to be the weakest moment of the game for Oya, really. You see Gypsy starting to roll through a bit. All right, now, Gypsy is reinforcing. Oya has split his army a bit, but his army is very, very... Like, it, it doesn't it doesn't fight all that well, right? Like, we did see a High Templar. He needs some storms or something like that. He needs, you know, stasis. Something to help swing it towards his favor. He does have plus two attack, but that's really not that great. Gypsy should have three, two about now. Love to click on one of those units just to double check on that. Three, two is just the killer for Terran. Alright, looks like this fifth base going to be eliminated. Gypsy with some solid unit movement in the center of the map right now. 
All right, picks off that Arbiter. Oh, God, there's just not... It, it, this is such a small Protoss army. A lot of his units... Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure about that. He attacked with, like, two small groups, which ended up being, like, two-thirds or one-half of his army. Gypsy now moving forward. All right, the first carriers are out. <laughs> Looks like the vessels will end up falling here. Okay, nice storm. A nice storm runs away. Oh, he needs to do stuff like this several more times now. Gypsy, of course, on a four-base economy, taking a fifth in that kind of middle base. 12 o'clock with the hour hand. A lot of Goliaths coming down. And it seems like Oya is pretty much at the end here, right? His army is so small, he's trying to run around. The army just is not working well together at this point. Pushing forward, and I mean, down everything goes. GG, Gypsy takes game one.